brief history of paleontology under the big sky. To most Americans, Montana conjures up images of mountains, cowboys, and the Wild West. To dinosaur lovers, Montana instead conjures up images of the fearsome Tyrannosaurus, trilobites, and the duck-billed dinosaur eggs. Montana is so special to paleontologists and enthusiasts alike because it has a wonderfully rich fossil record, one that is rarely outmatched elsewhere within the United States. There is even a rather sizable tourism industry surrounding Montana's famous terrible lizards that draws in hundreds of thousands of tourists each year, centering around the Montana Dinosaur Trail. Although most visitors likely come to see fossils that tell Montana's geological and biological history, there is actually a pleasantly surprising human element to that history that many are not aware of. Paleontology in Montana has an extensive and colorful history, beginning with native people, continuing on with early paleontologists, and carrying on to the modern day. Native Americans have existed on the North American continent for at least 13,000 years, perhaps even longer. 13,000 years may not seem very significant when discussing deep time, but back then the world was a drastically different place. Montana was home to roaming woolly mammoths, giant beavers that grew up to seven feet long, cheetahs, camels, horses, and giant turtles. Montana's natives lived among extinct animals that modern residents of the state can only imagine, and they also lived through the extinction event that wiped out all of these exceptional creatures. The existence of these Ice Age animals and their subsequent end is a testament to the one thing that always rings true when talking about paleontology. Everything always changes. Thankfully, there are geological processes that help people to both understand and document those changes. Before Europeans ever set foot on the American continent, Native Americans were interacting with the products of those geological processes in various and unique ways. Fossils give modern paleontologists scientific insight into a world long past, but to Montana's first paleontologists, fossils were decorative, handy, spiritual, and mythical. Some of the state's earliest indigenous residents, perhaps the Clovis people, decorated their fire pits by lining them with dinosaur bones. Not only would this type of fire pit ornamentation be aesthetically pleasing, but it would also have been useful as the bones could properly contain cooking fires while providing a more fitting shape than rocks. Native people from this time period also used the armored scutes of sorrel pelta to roast pine nuts as they provided a flat cooking surface and did not crumble under intense heat. There are also various mythical creatures in Native American lore that historians believe were inspired by fossils, such as water monsters and thunderbirds. The former were likely inspired by the common marine reptiles that pepper Montana's ancient ocean beds, occasionally coming to surface after flooding or intense rains. The crow and Sioux both believed in water monsters, terrifying crocodile-like animals that resided in rivers, such as the Missouri or Little Bighorn. The crow called them Uluksee, meaning giant lizard, and the Sioux's Unktehi was a horned, snake-like reptilian with feet. Thunderbirds were probably inspired by Tyrannosaurids, which are relatively common fossils found throughout Montana. The Crow and Cheyenne both believe in these mythical animals, which were huge, bird-like creatures with only two claws on their feet. To many native tribes across the Americas, fossils held spiritual meaning and spawned myths and legends still passed on today. The Blackfeet and Cheyenne found fossils of Bacchiolites, a type of mollusk, that had formed shapes resembling buffalo during crystallization. Dubbing these stones any scheme, they used them for at least a millennium to help summon buffalo herds. The Crow and others also believed dinosaur eggs held spiritual power, and some such tribes as the Pawnee and Navajo have legends surrounding these eggs. The Pawnee tribe, an indigenous people of the Great Plains like many of Montana's tribes, tell a legend about two great warriors who travel northward and come across very big and strange eggs that were believed to belong to a water monster. The fact that ancient people connected fossilized eggs to dinosaurs, which were for all intents and purposes monsters, 
shows that their paleontological knowledge has been underestimated by historians. What most people would think of as true paleontology in Montana began in 1855 with geologist Ferdinand Hayden. While Hayden was on a geological survey for the United States government in un incorporated territory, he found fossils of bones, shells, and teeth by the Judith River in what is now central Montana. He kept the fossils and brought them back east to early paleontologist Joseph Leidy, who immediately recognized them as dinosaurian, having similarities to fossils he knew from England. Joseph Leidy had officially made the first scientific identification of dinosaur fossils in Montana, all without ever setting foot in the state. It took around half a decade before any more discoveries were found, as during the latter half of the 1800s, Montana was only just beginning to be settled by non-native people. At the turn of the 20th century in 1901, Montana's first graduate student, Dr. Earl Douglas, discovered fossil mollusks, plants, and vertebrae at the Fort Union fossil beds in Sweetgrass County, Montana. After about 30 years, 57 different fossil sites were known from the beds. Discoveries include amazing finds such as primates, rodent-like animals, and pantodonts. Just a year later in 1902, the famous Barnum Brown, aka Mr. Bones, decided to travel to eastern Montana in search of fossils. There, he blasted a hillside with dynamite and used horses to plow through the soft earth that had broken free. In that hill, he found the hollow type, or very first fossil, of a new, terrifyingly large carnivore consisting of 34 bones. Three years later, it was named Tyrannosaurus rex by paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne. Though these men did not know it at the time, this creature would one day become the quintessential American dinosaur that would be recognizable to people around the entire world. From the 1910s to 1960s, few further discoveries were made due to the Great Depression and wars keeping paleontologists out of the field. Though it is not to say that none were made at all, they were just not famous discoveries like Tyrannosaurus rex, and were smaller finds such as prehistoric insects, fish, and plants. The next big find to put Montana on the map occurred in 1964, when John Ostrom led an expedition to the Cloverleaf Formation, which sits along the southern border of the state near the Crow Reservation. There, Ostrom and his team discovered Dinonychus antirhopus, a type of raptor that the velociraptors of Jurassic Park fame were actually modeled after. This dromaeosaur had undeniably bird-like characteristics, which helped snuff out the archaic idea that dinosaurs were just overgrown reptiles once and for all. Not too long after the discovery of Deinonychus antirhopus, the discovery of Montana's official state dinosaur was made, marking one of the most exciting times in paleontology. In 1978, paleontologist Jack Horner visited Bynum, Montana after hearing about unidentified dinosaur bones in a local rock shop. He correctly identified the bones as belonging to baby duck-billed dinosaurs, which were not as well known as they are today. Jack and his team prospected the area and eventually found the very first documented dinosaur eggs of the Western Hemisphere, as well as a new species of duckbill, which Horner named Myasaura, meaning good mother reptile. Duckbill dinosaurs are a type of hadrosaurid, and they were actually first named and identified by Joseph Leidy from the very same teeth fossils found in the Judith River in the 1850s. Paleontology truly exploded in the state after Jack Horner's myasaur finds, resulting in hundreds of new fossil sites and thousands of specimens. The most famous site, the Hell Creek Formation in eastern Montana was named by Barnum Brown shortly after he found his Tyrannosaurus rex in the area. The Hell Creek Formation has actually been dubbed a national natural landmark by the Park Service, and with good reason. 205 animal species and 84 plant species have been discovered there thus far. The reason the area preserves specimens so well and so frequently was because Montana actually used to be covered by a shallow sea called the Western Interior Seaway, and Hell Creek sat along the edge of the sea. It was a flat, forested floodplain with many streams and rivers, and over millions of years, the sea receded and returned multiple times. 
As a result, the recently deceased were often protected from the elements by being covered with soft sediments, eventually fossilizing into the wonderful specimens that exist today. Montana's various fossil formations have produced some of the most wonderful specimens in the world, some such as Tyrannosaurids, turtles, ceratopsians, raptors, mollusks, sauropods, hadrosaurs, fish, ankylosaurs, mammals, pterosaurs, insects, plants, marine reptiles, and more. Montana's indigenous people were the first to discover these fossils, often creating colorful stories and folklore surrounding the otherworldly eggs and bones. Montana was one of the first states to be recognized by early paleontologists as an area of interest, eventually becoming world-renowned for its fossil formations in the modern day. In 2016, roughly 330,000 visitors were drawn to the state to experience Montana's one-of-a-kind fossils and famous formations such as Hell Creek. The histories these fossils have to tell are multifaceted, consisting of not just biological and geological history, but human history as well. The human element of these histories, though often forgotten or overlooked, are certainly just as compelling as the fossils themselves.